Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about finding the area of trapezoids and regular polygons. So reminder, this is a trapezoid, okay? So we are going to fill in the missing pieces and then find the area. The way that we're gonna area, find our area is we're gonna do what's called decomposing. Basically, we're gonna cut it up into shapes we know. We know how to find the area of a triangle, we know how to find the area of a square and a rectangle, okay? So what we're gonna do I'm going to fill in the missing pieces. So we know that this bottom part down here has to be 6 because this is 6, so this is 6. Okay. So we know this is 4, so this has to be 4. So it's going to be 4 and 4. So we have to find these missing pieces here. So if the whole thing is 12 all the way across, okay, Six is in the middle, we have six left over. So we need to split that between each side, so this would be three and three, because six plus three is nine, plus three more gives me the whole length of 12. So we are going to find A, B, and C. To find A, it's a triangle, so we are going to do our base and our height. Remember, it makes the right angle right here. So we're going to do 3 times 4 divided by 2. Don't be that guy and forget the 2. 3 times 4 is 12 divided by 2 is 6 centimeters squared. Then for B, we're going to do the rectangle. You see it? The rectangle in the middle. So we are going to do... 6 times 4, which is 24 centimeters squared. Now we're going to do the triangle on the other side, which is actually going to be the same thing. So that's going to be C. It's going to be 4 times 3 divided by 2. Same thing, 6 centimeters squared. We're going to do 24 plus 6 plus 6 is going to be 6 plus 6 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 36 centimeters squared is your answer. And yes, you do need to show me the work for all the different parts. Okay. So for this next one, okay, you are going to find and the area of this shape and you are going to cut it up into triangles. You're going to go from each corner of the shape Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five triangles. So we are going to find the area of one triangle. So we are going to do five times 12 divided by two. The five is the height of the triangle. Do you see that? The five is the height of the triangle. So five times 12 is 60 divided by two is 30. But again, that is for one triangle. So we need to do 30 times 5 equals 150, 150 meters squared. Okay, so reminder, you're going to do 5 times 12 divided by 2 for the one triangle, then times by 5 because there's 5 of them going around. So this is a trapezoid, and we are going to cut it up. And we have our two parts. We have A and we have B. Okay? So let's start with A. So A is here. Okay? So for A, we are going to do 5 times 4. It's a rectangle, so we don't have to divide it by 2. So that's 20. Now we're going to do B. Okay? So a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, the 5. Well, the five is your slant height, so we are not going to use it. We are gonna find the height, I'm gonna erase this highlighter, the green dotted is going to be four, because see how the four is over here? Okay, and then now we need to find this base here. So again, we're gonna find the, area, the length all the way across. So the five is here, eight minus five, five, six, seven, eight is three. So for A, or for B, we're going to do 4 times 3 and then divided by 2. 4 times 3 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. We're going to do 20 plus 6 is 26 
meters squared. Remember, area is always squared. Okay, we're going to cut it up into shapes, cut it up into triangles. Count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So even though that dotted line is there, right, it is... Um, just the height. It's not two separate triangles. Okay, so we are going to do, I think that was a six, right? Yeah. Six times five divided by two. Remember, it's a triangle. Six times five is 30 divided by two is 15 for one. So 15 times six is going to be 90 feet squared. Okay, so these ones are going to get a little bit more complicated, okay? So take it one step at a time. Let's do A, B, well, I'll do a different color, B, and C. Okay, let's start with A. We need to find the base of this triangle, okay? So remember, it's all the way across is 9, okay? So this middle part here, up here it says it's three. So the opposite side of a rectangle is also gonna be three. So three, nine minus three is six, and then split it so then we have three on each side, okay? So it is going to be three times four divided by two. Three times four is 12 divided by two is six. Now let's do B which is the rectangle in the middle. So it is going to just be three times four, which is 12. We're not gonna divide that by two. And then if we do C, we're gonna do, remember the height here is four as well, because it's opposite. So we're gonna do three times, oh, let me get it blue, get my color coding straight. So it's gonna be three times four divided by two is gonna be six. Then it's going to be 12 plus 6 plus 6, which is going to be 24 centimeters squared. Make sure you get those lengths right on the bottom. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and draw my little dotted line. This is going to be 17 as well. So let's figure out these bases of this triangle, okay? So we know that it's going to be 14 in the middle because this is 14 down here, okay? 11, sorry, how can it be 11? It doesn't seem like that would work correctly. So I am going to skip this one and fix the numbers because it can't work that way with only 11 being across the bottom. So I'm gonna skip that one and then I will fix it on the key later. Okay, let's go to this one. So we're gonna have A and B. So for A, we are going to do the rectangle. So that is going to be 13 times nine, which is 117. Then for B, we know nine is our height. We're gonna divide it by two. So all the way across. This is 13 on this side. So we do 19 minus 13 is gonna be six left over. So nine times six divided by two is going to be, so nine times six is 54, divided by two is 27. 117 minus 27 is going to be 90 feet squared. Um, let's go to this trapezoid to make sure this one works. And I want to show you this. So we've got A, we've got B, we've got C. Okay, so the heights of the triangles are going to be 10. Let's figure out the base of the triangle. So it's 24 all the way across. It's 20 in the middle because this is 20 up here. So 24 minus 20 is 4, and you got to split it between the two sides. So it's going to be 2 on either side, so that one worked. So then let's do A. It's going to be 10 times 2 divided by 2, which is going to be 10. B, the rectangle in the middle, is going to be 10 times 20, 
which would be 200. And then C is going to be 10 times 2 divided by 2 is 10. So 200 plus 10 plus 10 would be 220 yards squared. Okay. Make sure you fill in some of the rest of those that I did skip around a little bit. Um, make sure on this one, when you cut it up, you cut it up into all of the triangles and number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles. So it's an octagon, okay? Um, go ahead and check through that and enjoy.